It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Incognito Session IPA coming in at 4.5% ABV. Polish craft beer then. Wait for it. It's by brother Rzemnowski. I tried my best guys. It probably sounds nothing like that, but I tried my very best. Um, black bottle cap. Many thank you to Mark for sending me the beer. Mark from Poland. Let's get the beer out. There we go. Let's get it out into a glass. See what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Look at the carbonation in the bottle. Beer in the glass. Ooh. My own fault. Went a bit wild. You know, somebody commented today. I was reading some comments on YouTube. Somebody commented, all the beers you've drank, you still can't pour a beer. That's a great example of, of after all the beers I've poured, I still can't pour a beer. Should have judged, shouldn't I really, that it was really carbonated and I should have gone a little bit easier. Um, I suppose it's because I'm really thirsty and I want to get into this beer. Um, but my fault, my fault. Three finger. Uh, white head, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy beer. Let's get some of that haze from the bottle into the beer. Look at that. Aroma on this hazy straw stroke amber coloured beer, good carbonation. Aroma. And with it being a Polish craft beer, you expect these days Polish craft beer, they love their hops in Poland. Loads of hops coming from this beer. It's very tart. Grapefruity, tart and mango. A little bit of bitterness, a little bit of spiciness, pepperiness. A little bit of sweet malt. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Very drinkable, with it being a session IPA. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of malty biscuitiness, and then boom, over to the back end. That sweetness kind of goes back to front. It goes from the start all the way to the, to the, to the end of the, the beer, the end of the, the finish of the beer, really. Uh, had a mouthful of marbles then. Um, There's a dryness to it. And then there's grapefruit and mango and citrus and it's lovely. A really nice beer. <clears throat> but I want to get, I'm at the stage now where I'm able to get all of that lovely unfiltered sediment, unfiltered goodness I call it, into the beer. Uh, for me there's always a little bit more flavour when you get all of that sediment into the beer. And it kind of somehow quieten, quietens down the carbonation. If you were to pour half the bottle in, the carbonation would rage a little bit. When you get that unfiltered goodness as I call it, into the glass, the little bit of the yeast and the bits of sediment into the glass it just calms everything down it just it makes it the beer tastes a bit smoother on the mouth feel yeah it just I'm not a scientist I'm not a scientist there's a, there's a few brewers watching on the the live feed that I got on Facebook behind so maybe I'll uh, I know Neil Randall Lee Ralph um, uh, Richard but Be Richard Bennett lots of brewers watching tonight Maybe they can comment with a comment as to why, or you guys as well watching on YouTube, comment as to why putting the sediment into the beer just calms things down a little bit, settles, it, settles things down, makes the beer taste a little bit smoother. <sighs> it's a cracking pint though. It's a really good pint. Lovely lacing on the glass. Nice 
the sweetness to the bitterness is quite nicely balanced. I like the peppery spice on the back end. The bitterness is very nice. It's a good beer. And again, the Polish, they really, really know how to, how to brew beer. Um, I, I was in Poland in 2013. I've been going every year since um, to the festivals. I've been brewing beer with, with companies like Pinter and Dr. Brew. And the, just every year, the, the levels of quality just go higher and higher and higher and higher. And just they're producing some of the best beers, I would say, some of the hoppiest beers in the world. Let's rate it. I really like this beer. I really, really like this beer. I just wish I could read the... Oh, I can see Simcoe Equinot Columbus uh, in there. But I can't read anything else in terms of ingredients. Um, it's a really tasty brew. It's a Stone the Crows 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.